Hey, boys and girls, my name is Mac Comer. I'm Knoxville, Tennessee's Dean of Fun, and today I'm going to read you a book titled The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. While I'm reading, I'm going to be moving this arrow around so that you can follow along with me while I read. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Man, this guy, he likes to eat. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And that night, he had a stomach ache. I would, too. Munch, 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 munch. The next day was Sunday again, and the caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks, and then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... He was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Well, I hope you had as much fun reading this book with me today as I had with you. Until next time, boys and girls, I'll see you later. Bye.